Hey everyone, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today, guys, we are playing some more Ark Survival Evolved. Today, guys, we are back on the Cross Ark series, back on the island map at Hidden Lake, guys. And today, I think it's time that we started expanding our base because currently, what we have so far for base is literally a small wooden box. Um, it's not very impressive. It's not very big. I need some space. I do have some dinos uh, that I have been sort of collecting slash taming. Uh, some from the original time we were on the island and then some that I've tamed up recently to help with gathering and stuff. But we have, uh, we have a fair amount of things and they just don't fit in that base anymore. So the plan today is we're going to start this build. Now this is going to be what hopefully is going to be a really large build here at Hidden Lake. Oh my gosh, there's just so many things out here attacking stuff. Oh well. Um, <laughs> so what we're going to do today is work on this build. I've kind of gotten it started. Uh, I did go ahead and remove uh, the foundation requirement for buildings here on the server so that it would be a little bit easier to do the build I had in mind. Uh, I will be adding pillars in when it's kind of complete just to make it look a little bit more natural. But I think this is definitely going to be a really cool build. So let's go ahead and uh, ah, move the bird. There we go. Jack's doing his thing. He actually has to level up. Uh, speed. Fastest RG in all the land. You're not supposed to be here. Go away. There we go. Uh, Alright, so let's go ahead and grab ourselves some of these ceilings, uh, maybe some of the foundations as well. I'm going to take like half of those. Oh, that's going to weigh us down like right away. Alright, I do want to kind of place as much of this on foundations as I can up here on the cliff just to kind of make it look a little bit more supported uh, for when we actually get a little bit further on the build. So let's go ahead and start laying out some of these foundations here. It, yep. Okay, we're gonna have to do this to make it work, but that's okay. We can do that. It's a little deeper here than I would have liked, maybe. All right, let's go ahead and fill all these in. Now, I'm still kind of thinking about the shape that I want this build to have as we go along, so definitely a lot to do here but um kind of the idea is to leave this back wall kind of natural uh i do want this to like show in the base and then i kind of want to have like a glass front overlooking the actual hidden lake itself uh and sort of a balcony once we actually get a little bit closer to the lake in terms of how big this build is going to be uh, i also may do two or three main rooms kind of connected by walkways between them that are sort of open uh, it's going to be a little bit tricky, but hopefully it works out. And then down here is basically going to be dino storage. So where the dinos are now, they're going to be there again. They're just going to be kind of fenced in so that they're a little bit more protected. That's kind of the goal. I'm not sure how clean I can get this to look with uh, what I have in mind, but we're going to do our best to make it look good. Um, yeah, I'm still... Still new to building, it's still not great with the building, so hopefully we can make this build actually look good. It's going to be a pretty big project, though. Alright. Ah! Mistakes. Come here. This is not what I wanted. Actually, you know, that kind of worked. You... Oh no. We've caused problems. Hi. All right, we we fixed it. Come here. I gotta just watch where I'm jumping, apparently. Well, let's go ahead and do that. Now, I do kind of want to... That should not have placed there. I don't like it, but we'll do these ones first before we pick that up. Just kind of fill this in so we don't fall into one of these gaps. Kind of make it look nice and clean. Uh, yeah, that works there. Uh, yep, we gotta put one there, and I might put a ceiling there just to kind of not have to waste a foundation on it. There we go. Alright, that's gonna cause problems now. Let's go ahead and... That's the wrong thing. No! I always choose the wrong button. 
There we go. Okay. Oh my gosh. I am so clicking all the wrong hotkeys right now. I'm a little tired, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and get these finished being put down. Okay, so far so good. Uh, not too bad. I may need more foundations. I kind of just want it to look like there's some sort of solid base here on the cliff so that it looks a little less awkward when we have these floating structures with pillars. Should work out. Um, I could also just use ceilings and walls, but it's fine. It doesn't super matter. All right, let's go ahead and grab more mats. So many materials we're going to need for this build. It's going to be amazing. All right, let's grab... Yep, we're actually kind of out of stuff. Let's go ahead and grab like 25 walls at a time. And I am going to go ahead and make up another 100 foundations just because I did spend quite a bit of time grinding. Also had some help from some tribe mates on the servers with the grinding, but uh, all the crafting and stuff is being done by us. Alright, let's go ahead and grab these. So this is going to be major room number one, is kind of the idea. I'm going to need so many ceilings for this build. I'm just realizing just how large I actually plan to make this, and I'm actually kind of happy about it. Like, I very rarely do builds this big, so it's going to be a heck of a project. Hopefully it turns out well. All right. A little bit more. A little bit more. This is probably going to be a multi-episode build as well, guys. It's just going to be so massive. I don't see any other way to do that. Uh, where is it? Half. All right. Grab Jack, go back up. Alright, start building these. Alright, now I kind of want this to go all the way up to the edge of the lake, so let's go ahead and do this. I want it to be at least this wide. I think I'm probably going to run this into the actual wall over there. Um, and then this side's going to kind of taper off into the wall potentially. So we'll kind of see how that goes. But it does need to go forward quite a bit more first. Oh, this is going to be such a massive build. I'm actually kind of excited. Yeah, I'm actually kind of excited about it. I don't know how well it's going to work, but we're going to do our best. Okay, more ceilings. It's already huge, but you know what? It won't hold basically anything, so it's got to be bigger. It's got to be bigger. All right, come on in here. What do we got? Uh, let's go ahead and take the rest of these. Let's see, how far out does that have to go? Maybe I don't want it quite that far out. Because I could still pretty easily block this off. I do... I don't know. I'm debating if I want it to go all the way out to the edge of the lake. It definitely could, but it might be kind of unnecessary for what I'm trying to do. It might actually be too long. Hmm. And that would give me some options for, like, little buildings down there on the edge as well. Yeah, maybe we'll kind of... Maybe we'll just have it stop here. All right, but if that's the case, then we still need to build over this way. So let's do that and get this started. All right, here we go. Do we... Stop placing them temporarily for some reason. Alright, not too bad. Uh, definitely need a foundation here. But then these, I think, are just going to go straight over into the actual wall. Yeah, I'm still kind of liking the way this is turning out so far. It looks a little weird without pillars, but it's fine. We'll fix it 
We'll fix it after. Once we actually have this build done, I can add pillars without it being too wonky, I think. Uh, they'll be huge, but I think they will work if I can do it right. Potentially. We'll see. We'll see if I can make it look good. I'm gonna do my best. Alright. We need more ceilings, as always. Um, we'll just take, like, five of those off. And we're gonna need more ceilings, so let's go ahead and just craft up another hundred of those. Thank goodness we have all these mats. Uh... Mm. Alright, we take ten of those. It's gonna be a little bit heavy, but that's okay. Jack can carry us. It'll be fine. And I'll lighten myself up pretty quickly here doing this. Alright, let's see here. So let's go ahead and place this foundation um, right there. Right there, I think is good. Do I need any more here? I think that's as far out as I went. So let's go ahead and do this side a little bit. Uh, I definitely do want to kind of extend this over this way a little bit more. I think this is going to be a walkway over to another sort of mini outpost maybe above the little entrance area. That would be kind of cool, like a little guard gate would be kind of a nice thing. Uh, but this is definitely going to be the actual main chunk of the base, this area right here, which is one of the reasons I started here. All right, let's go ahead and grab those. Alright, I think I am just about to the point where I want to start building the actual walkway. Let's see, how far do I want to actually take this out? It's kind of a, a bit of a trick deciding where to actually end this part of the building and where to start the walkway around the cliff over that direction. Uh, let's do it. This is going to be a lot of foundational work today, and then more details will be coming uh, in later build episodes, I think. Alright, let's go ahead and grab the rest of these. Most of them. Finish up the foundations, then start working on that walkway. I do have a lot of triangle ceilings as well, which I'm going to use pretty heavily in these builds. I think they'll be very useful for that. Oh boy, there we go. A little hard to, a little hard to aim, but it's okay. Eh. Oh boy, okay. It's getting a little tricky over here, but I think it's okay. I think, I think we can turn this into a walkway now. So I think this here is the point at which I'm actually going to turn this into a walkway and uh, this will still be all covered. So this is all going to end up being ceilings, I think. I think that's the way I want to do it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is going to be such a massive build. Such a massive build. I'm actually really excited for it. I don't get to do these types of projects super often, so I'm actually really hyped to do a cool hidden lake build, which is uh, actually something I've been wanting to do for a while and just have never really had the opportunity to do. And luckily S Plus is going to make this build a little bit easier. Do we do it this way? Let's see. Kind of thinking. I want this to be a relatively narrow walkway. All right, and then we could have triangle ceilings there. Kind of smoothing that out would be okay. 
I might even have this smoothed out a little bit with triangle ceilings. We'll kind of see how it goes. Uh, I'm going to kind of look at the shape of it before I make those decisions. But either way, let's go ahead and start building along this way. Come here. Go. Oh my gosh, the lag sometimes. It's understandable. This is like a lot going on. All right, let's go ahead and grab that. I want it to be a little bit uneven of a walkway. I think that would be pretty cool. Like I want to smooth out the edges so that they're not square. But other than that, I want it to be kind of varying thicknesses uh, just to kind of give it a little bit more character. Um, we'll see how that ends up working. And then I am thinking I need to make this this all filled in as well. That's going to have to be a thing. Ah. So far, so good. So far, so good. So the main area up there is definitely going to be the workshop. We're going to have to have a way to get in and out with, uh, with Thames so that we can load up whatever items we end up putting in there. All right, give me all of those. Here we go. Was I supposed to place a foundation there or a ceiling there? I am not 100% sure, but we're gonna put a ceiling there for now because now it's bugging me. Uh, let's go ahead and keep building out this way. Oh, that tree is going to have to go. Oh, it's going to have to go. I can't see. It's the worst. That tree is actually painful. I'm going to fall off my own platform. Ah, okay. Okay, so far so good. Um, so I think I'm kind of aiming for that area over there as the actual next major platform that we're going to build. We'll see how that goes. It is so bright up here. <laughs> so bright. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's actually see. I do have... I'm a beaver friend here. We're going to chop this tree down so I can see a little bit better when I'm building over there. I think that's the play. I love the way the trees look, but they are so <laughs> difficult. There we go. Oh, there's Dilla. That's lovely. He was just stuck over there. Alright, let's get back over here. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look. Um, yeah, so far, so far I think it's looking pretty good. I'm probably going to actually put in like a staircase underneath all of this. To get down to this uh, main area down here, which is obviously going to be where we keep Thames. Oh my gosh, this is such a massive build already, guys. I don't even know. I don't even know. So let's go ahead and start building the walkways a little bit. I want to give them a little bit of depth. Hopefully they'll look pretty good. Uh, where are my... Here they are. I think these will look okay. I think they look like stone. Alright. So the goal with these... If I may... Uh, I may actually have to adjust this a little bit to make this work. Yeah, we may actually have to adjust this. I haven't built too much with these triangles foundations, but I do want them to actually work. Uh, that's the wrong button for that. I hate the new S plus gun. Can we... right there? Yeah. I might actually have to build this whole thing out of triangles. We'll kind of see how it goes. Actually, it might be okay. I might be able to just kind of clip them together a little bit. Uh, just kind of fill up the edges here and make it look nice. Am 
Oh no, that's getting awfully messy. I want the edges at least to be clean. Um, let me pick this one up. That's not where I want it. That's fine. You're not. That's fine. Okay, let's go ahead and try this again. Put that away. Uh, here. We'll do it like that. Okay. Alright, so far, not bad. Kind of getting an interesting look here, but uh, honestly, that's kind of what I'm going for, is an interesting look, so hopefully it works out. Uh, the only thing is, is that I need each one of these segments to actually be one full railing length because I am going to put like a railing on them so that we don't fall off into the abyss every time we try to go somewhere. That would be not good. Alright, let's go ahead and grab this. But it is going to take a lot of those triangle ceilings, so we may make more of those as well. These. Let's go ahead and craft a hundred of those. <laughs> big builds, guys. Big builds. That's where it's at. Next. I do wish they just had like a half. I don't know, like an actual triangle that was half the wall, but I know that's not realistic, but it would have been great for this particular build. Um, okay, I think that works. It probably looks a little funky, but I think it's actually going to work when I do with this what I want to do with this. Uh, let's go ahead and do that, that, all right, uh, tr almost. Come here. Come here. Snap correctly. Thank you. Alright. Um, cool. Alright, so it's a little bit uneven. It's a little bit rough, but I kind of like that about it. It's actually kind of what I enjoy about it. I think that actually looks fine. It's a little bit funky looking, but honestly, I think that's going to be the way to go with this build. Alright, and then I think, where do I actually want to end this? Maybe over there a little bit more. I think I kind of want it socked over there into the actual cliff side. So let's go ahead and continue this on a little bit. Might just build these whole things out of triangle ceilings from now on. It's going to be a little bit cleaner, I think, if I do that. Yeah, alright. It's going to be trick and a half trying to get these placed right. They might look a little messy, but I honestly think that almost makes it look better because then it doesn't look like it's perfect stone, which is uh, kind of a good look. All right, hopefully this works out. Yeah, it doesn't have to be smooth. It needs to be a little bit, a little bit uneven, a little bit jagged. I think that's gonna look fine. All right, let's go ahead and grab all this. Uh, let's take like half of these, continue on with that. Such a massive build this is gonna be. This is gonna be several episodes worth, guys, and what I might actually do is try to finish off the foundations off cam because this is gonna be an insane amount of work. Uh, and then we can actually get to some of the more detailed building in the next episode. That might be the way that I do this, just because of how crazy this build is going to get. Which I'm totally fine with. I think that would actually be kind of fun. Alright, here we go. Okay. So, it's a slow process, but we are sort of slowly inching our way over to this area. Um, right there. I'm kind of thinking right at the end of this ledge here 
is where we're going to start the actual build that I want to do. So it's kind of going to be two major structures on this side of the lake. And then, uh, as I had said before, I'm probably going to pull this walkway around a little bit. And then place, like, right here, uh, sort of a little hut to kind of watch this entrance to the hidden lake right here, which will be... It'll be kind of interesting to put something there, but I think that's what I want to do. I want to make it look like a cool little guardhouse, and uh, I might even just build it straight across to this cliff as well so that it's a completely supported structure on either side. We'll see how I end up doing it. It's going to be a massive complex, though. That's kind of the goal. Hopefully it comes out really well. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and place a few more of the flat ceilings just to kind of get that a little bit more done. Just want to get a little closer. <laughs> so much to do with this build. Luckily, I have the fastest RG in the world. I absolutely love Jack. He's amazing. And thank goodness for classic flyers. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Yeah, I think I'm going to round off this build a little bit as well. I don't think I want it to be completely boxy. Now, I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to manage that, other than with uh, triangle ceilings, but hopefully it ends up looking okay. I might end up taking uh, a bit of that side off to make that happen, but it should work. It should work. Yeah, I'm probably going to end up picking up this corner of ceilings here just to kind of give it a little bit more shape and structure and interest. Uh, we'll kind of we'll kind of play with it as I build. That's how I tend to do it. I uh, have a vague idea of what I want and then just kind of adjust as we go until it ends up looking okay. That's what building's all about, right? Experimenting and having fun. All right, guys. Well, uh... Yeah, I think it's coming along nicely. Again, this is still very foundational. We've done pretty much nothing on this today, but uh, it's going to take a long, long time to build. So, guys, I actually do think not a whole lot happened in this episode, but I do think, guys, that that is actually going to do it for today's episode. So, if you did find yourself enjoying this one at any point, guys, please do remember to hit that like button because it seriously helps me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. I will catch you all in the next one. Signing off, this is The Iguana.